Oh, hello. Welcome. I would like to start off today's video by giving a personal thank you to everyone who has helped the growth of this channel. As of recently, we have now reached 50 subscribers. A small milestone, but a very important one for myself, and I would like to thank everyone for that. And in doing so, I am going to announce a small giveaway. All of the information for the giveaway is going to be at the end of the video, right after the story. So, if you are interested, make sure to stick around and settle in. Tonight's story is another chapter by Reddit's very own You Slash Darkly Gathers. I hope you all enjoy. I'm the last lighthouse keeper in Scotland. And a congregation has awakened from the deep. By you slash darkly gathers. What in God's name? I mutter. As the dark and twisted cathedral from the world below rises grimly up into the rain. Strange and alien lights flash beyond those deep and ethereal stained glass windows. The waves crash and forth maliciously around the building's paradoxical walls. The robed men from the depths turn back to me, and their song resumes. In time now to the rumbles of the cathedral bells, sounding out a beautiful yet terrible melody. A haunting song of the sea. Repent, my housekeeper, cries one of the monks as he shuffles forward. I catch glimpses of those sharp, thin, yellow teeth as his lips flap grotesquely, open and closed. Repent and you shall be saved. Cleanse yourself of the sins of the land. And a rush of sickening emotion swells up within me. Swearing I bring round the shotgun for another blast, but I can't focus. I can't aim, and once again the shot goes wide. Pieces of rock shattering pitifully from the ground by the speaker's feet. I slam my hands to my ears, trying to focus as the sounds of the rain, uh, the thunder, but the singing only grows louder. And the bells, the goddamned bells, I can't help my eyes. My gaze is drawn to the cathedral's double doors, its misted gate, and I see it start to open. A shaft of blue light appears from beyond, and I know, I know in my heart of hearts that something grisly lies beyond, but I can't tear my eyes away. Can't do it. The door. The door. That's why I'm up here at all. To see the door. The true door. The reflection out at sea. My regular guest. And in this moment of sharp remembrance, I bellow and twist my head. My eyes forced back to their original prize. The shimmering standalone door. The mystic arch beyond, caught just as the beam of the lighthouse passes by. I focus on it. Now, I focus hard and will myself to think of the reflection, to see it, and nothing else. And I mutter to myself words of strength, and I find, after a rotation or two, that I can step back. I do so. I take another. And I turn with a grunt of force, pushing back through the door inside. Taking a breath and cracking my knuckles, I sprint down the spiral and staircase to the level below. I tear open drawers until I find more shells, more precious ammo. And I rifle through my bookcase, 
pulling books from the shelves haphazardly until I find the King James. My tattered old Bible. Can't hurt. Hardening my resolve, I return up and push back out into the porch of the rain. Shouting loud above the singing, I begin to read from the Bible. Any chapter will do. I flip the pages over. Revelations is as good as any. And I saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire. I begin picking a passage from the middle of the page at random. Shouting over the chorus and the bells and the thunder. Glowing with fire. And standing beside the sea. Those who had been victorious over the beast and its images over the number of its name. They held harps given to them by God. Movement catches my eye and I glance down. Down to the sight of a cluster of monks casting off the many ropes and covers that keep my little boat protected from the elements. Hey! I call down. Get your grubby fins off my boat! But they don't. And to my frustration, I feel the chords of the harmony start once again and overwhelm me. I squeeze the Bible under my armpit and hoist the gun. Blinking the streams of rain from my eyes and firing shots down to the wayward priest below. Two perfect hits. The chest of a monk in the outer circle explodes and he stumbles, falling back beneath the waves and the second shot burst the head of one of the assailants of my boat. My precious boat. Get away! I roar down to the rabble, firing two more shots, both missing, before hurling down the Bible in a desperate last bid. The book strikes the back of a grey head, and its owner tumbles unceremoniously into the sea. Fuck me. Fuck this! I grunt, running a hand across my lower jaw. More of them come now, more of the terrible monks, striding out of the watery darkness, eyes unblinking. They're not going to stop, are they? I mutter in despair as they work to untangle the last of the ropes of the boat. They don't want me going anywhere, that's for sure. And then... Then comes the beam of the great light, of my great light. She catches as ever on the arched door out there in the waves, the light reflecting like a mirror of golden glass, caught in a perfect moment of time. And I know what has to be done. I try to drown out the song with the noise of my own thoughts, and I slam back into the lighthouse. I sprint down the stairs and grab a handful of more shells and something else. Something I hope I can use to bluff my way out of here. An idea I got from the Bible verse. Glowing with fire. I muttered to myself, pulling open a cupboard with a clatter and taking firm hold of a rescue flare. Standing by the sea. Victorious over the beast. I grab my radio receiver and I shout out in a sponseless call for aid into the crackling void. It won't do me any good, I wager. But again, it can't hurt. I head down to the lighthouse's front door, shotgun in one hand and flare in the other, and I strike it. A burning and altogether overwhelming red light is thrown proudly across the walls. I squint. It's too damned bright. I hold the gun between my legs and wrap the old scarf around the flare, burning my hand a little in the process. Fuck. Should have done this before setting it to flame, you pillock. The scarf bursts quickly into a frenzied fire, and I step forward. I'm bolting the door and casting one final look over the rules of old Mad Jack, carved desperately above the bloody sink, 
of all places. Don't leave the light alone. Don't let him in. The twin beams must be manned. Rule number one. Don't leave the light alone. I'm sorry, Jack. But if I don't leave her alone, just for a little while, then they'll get in anyway. And then she'll be theirs. They want me stuck here, Jack. Why else would they go for the boat? I've got no choice, fella. And besides... What do you know, anyway? You're dead as dick, pal. I'm heading for that fucking reflected door. And I squeeze my fists, grab a hold of my gun, and I kick through the door and onto the rock, slamming it shut behind me. The storm casting salt and bitter spray up and across my features. The singing stops at once, and all those terrible eyes turn to stare in horror upon it, the fire in my hand. Behold the power of the land! I roared to them, my bravado entirely false. I step across the wet stone and closer to my boat, thrust in the burning flare this way and that, my face a body and glow of the gloom of the icy tempest. They cower in fear and hold their unnatural hands before their faces to shield their lidless eyes from the red and almighty flame. I pray silently that they do not know how easily they could extinguish my magic with the well-placed blast of water. I worry even now that I will not make it to the boat before the heavy rain goes and gives the trick away. The fire of life, I bellow, shaking my flare madly as I creep closer and closer to the boat. They're all around me. Dozens and dozens of them, all moaning and twisting, shuffling away in confusion. I think about the Bible verse. This is my fucking harp, I muttered to myself. Then I turn to the monks by the boat and make a noise, thrusting the flare suddenly towards them and they disperse, wailing in horror. With an eye watching wearingly over the congregation, I pull back the final ropes and tear off the covers with a grunt dragging the boat fully out of its shelter and hoisting the poles and thrusting my wee sail, pulling it out and into the churning waters. I jump in, still holding the flare high in one hand, and I grab the ropes, steering madly as the boat is caught instantly in the swell of the waves. I've lost it, I think to myself. Turned into you, Mad Jack. If you only could see me now... What in blazes am I doing? And I laughed to myself. Despite the fear rippling through me, and despite everything, I string the flare hastily to the mast and turn behind me, raising the gun up high and blasting the closest monk to Kingdom Come. Stay away from my lighthouse! I call out as the boat leaves the island behind, rocking perilously from side to side. Lightning streaks through the sky, and I turn back to the waves. Every time the beam of my precious light comes around, I get a good sight of the door. The reflection. Out over there in the sea. And I alter my course, heading round towards it. Yes, I may be mad. Yes, I broke one of the rules. But the storms have, over the last year, been getting steadily worse. It never used to be like this. If I make it through the night, then there'll come another just like it. I can feel it. And the door is nothing like else I've ever seen. It knows I'm watching out for it. And it's never been any threat to me. That much is true. And the priest wanted rid of my boat. Well, that's too fucking bad for them. Sure, I could try sailing back to the mainland. Twenty minutes on a clear day might take three times as long in the conditions such as these. If I ever fucking made it at all. But what if these fuckers come every night? 
What if they send my fucking dead wife again? The door comes once a month. And tonight is the night. Tonight is the night indeed. I roar out into the storm as my knuckles burn white with exertion. The wet and heavy rope no doubt forming ugly new calluses across my hands as I heave and pull, steering my course toward the door. Tonight is the fucking night! Who? I am very much enjoying where this story is going. So, the giveaway. For the 50 subscriber milestone, I am going to be giving away four of these stickers with art made by the wonderful Elizabeth521. So for the requirements, I will need you to, one, be a subscriber to the channel. The Hinghe Public subscriber will make things easier during the process. Number two, make sure to leave a like on this video. And number three, comment down below your favorite story that has been narrated on the channel. I will be announcing the four winners in next Thursday's video. Thank you all so much for getting me here. I very much appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video. If we all survive. <laughs>